Welcome back, family and friends. Those of you that are new, welcome. Uh, Rachel, All Glory Farms. Uh, all right, so it is hot. It is so hot. Uh, it's also three o'clock in the afternoon. We started this project, I think about nine o'clock this morning, and we just now got done, and it is so hot. Even most of the animals are underneath the shade, laying down, taking a nap, except for Mike and the donkeys, but they're, they're odd anyway. So what we did today is we took the pigs from over here and we combined them with the piglets over here. We gave them a bigger space. We put up chicken wire um, on the other side of our poly tape so that if the babies, because they're not quite trained on poly tape yet, try to get through, they'll bounce off the chicken wire. It's temporary just until they get trained. Uh, Aurora has stopped chasing the babies and there's Puma. <laughs> Everybody's pretty happy with the uh, setup. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go through and um, show you what we did. I'm gonna fast forward it all because six hours is a long time. We, we recorded most of it, but you'll get to see the progress. Everybody's happy. That'll be a cooler area for them, more grazing um, area as well. And yeah, so here we go. Donna, Donna, out he go, out he went. Let's go, move. Goodness sakes, guys. About that little language slip while doing editing I realized I might need to add a little bit more context here um, so our ducks I know that we probably discussed it before I'm going to discuss it again our ducks are all runner ducks we were told that they couldn't fly like I know that they can't fly like long distance but we were kind of surprised they could fly out of the uh, pig pen anyway uh, we have five males and one female. So our hope is that we can put them in with the pigs so that we don't have to call our males right away. Um, they need to come out of the chicken run and the chip chicken coop before they start getting frisky. It's not good for our chickens or the one female duck we have. So that's why we had the ducks the one duck. We were testing it out and got our little surprise. Anyway, there's more. Here we go.
that was yesterday. We tested out the piglets with the big pigs to see how they do. Aurora was grouchy. Pooey once, Pua once in a while. But towards the longer they were in there, um, Aurora kind of gave up because the piglets are quicker than she is. So she was leaving them alone to the point where they were resting comfortably. Everything was fine. Uh, we do know that the runner ducks can get out of the way of the pigs if the pigs decided to be a little jerkish. So we'll try that, just not today. Um, that'll be another another day because uh, the fencing over here, the new fencing for them is higher. So we'll do that another day. Anyway, so now what we're going to go on to is today, getting the pigs moved from there to back there. So enjoy. <laughs> us getting the chicken wire up and the front uh, fencing up. So now it's time to go ahead and move all of the pigs over to the new area. Even though not everything's done, they're going to be so busy chewing on the new grass and exploring the new area. We'll be fine. So here we go. Let's bring the pigs over. Let's go. Come on, up. Get off of it. Come on. 
come on. You're gonna have to. Come on. Pick me. Oh, oh, babe. Over here. So that whole area is almost down. And these guys are all over here. We've, whoa, oh no, no, he's right there by Pua. So, so far, right now, we have just the chicken wire up on one side. Pua, what are you doing? Um, that will have electrical tape in front of it so that if they, the littles have a habit of just going through the electrical tape. So if they try to go through, they'll bounce off of that chicken wire and back into the electrical tape. So are you having fun yet? Are you having fun yet? I don't know. <laughs> Here. Hi, Kevin Bacon. This is a much bigger yard for you because this is all the brown is where they were they get this and then they get all of that the posts all the way down yes okay so the pigs are moved and now it's time to put up the posts, uh, the, the white posts and the poly tape. And then we'll connect the poly tape to the other set that we've already got up um, between the pasture and the pigs area. And we should be good to go. We can turn it on and we should be done. Cross our fingers. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All glory to God. We are done. Yay! It took like almost six hours. Um, this has been a couple days planning. Then, you know, yesterday we did some of the pre-work and then today trying to get the whole do thing done and everybody moved. It was a lot of work and it's insanely hot right now. It's like 95, 97 degrees with a feels like temperature of like 105 to 107. Like seriously, all I want to do is go in, take a cool shower, and like face down on my cool hardwood floors and not move for a while. It is hot, but we're done. And those piggies are very happy. It is so warm outside. There's not much movement going on. Like it's super quiet out here right now. And usually if I'm outside talking, you'll hear the goats or the sheep or you know the donkeys will bray whatever everybody's quiet it is so hot nobody wants to move <laughs> well we love it. It, it we are so grateful to have them moved they're in a more secure location our guardian dogs can keep an eye on them the guardian donkeys can keep an eye on them and we just feel better about them being over their bigger area uh, we do need to do some more work like their little pig house. It needs some work. It needs to be moved and it's heavy as can be. So that's going to take a while, um, but it needs to be moved. It needs to be improved. Um, and that'll be, that'll come soon. Uh, we still have a lot of projects to do a lot going on and we're getting about 13 to 14 eggs every day now. Yay. Last time we went to the uh, local farm that we go to to support, I didn't have to buy eggs. 
Sorry guys, we really appreciate all the eggs that we bought from you, but we're really happy to have our own. Yay! Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, following along, supporting us, cheering us on. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so very, very much, and we will see you in a couple of days, because yeah, we're taking some time. <laughs> have a good afternoon.